Oh. Turn on my headphones. I probably help. Hey. Mr. Jim. Mr. Jim, uh, that's me. Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there in, near the house. Ah, uh, thanks. Okay. Good. Thanks, Abe. Thank you, sir. Motherhood. Okay. You want? I have no idea. He wants a chocolate bar. I, I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. That's that's true. I'm gonna give him a chocolate bar. That's a big fluffy dog. Oh my god. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Oh, Are that's me. me? Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Here. Sign there. Thank you, sir. Thank you. How does a pen fit in the book? Huh? Maybe it's a feather and I didn't see it. Oh. Stop. <clears throat> if you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. It's my wife. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. I'll be damned. Keep it kaye. I love that word. That's my new word from now on. Yo, what's up, sir? Good morning. Can I come inside your house? Nope. Denied. Abigail. Actually, I think I already did all this before, but whatever. Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen. You can't read, I guess. But it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. Don't punch this. Okay. That's boots. Oh, almost fell right there. Bro. That would have sucked. What is that? PJs? <clears throat> Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? We hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry. Hey, man. Who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun. Sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. I do. Oh, okay. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. No, no, no. I'm going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. Mm -hmm. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. True. Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. All right. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. Return to work. All right. I got to fix the fence. Pick up the post. Pick up the post. Oh, okay. I was like, what the hell? I can't pick it up. Won't let me. Uh, are you sure that's gonna go down? Bah. 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 Oh. Dun, 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 boom, 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 boom. Probably should have done this last, but whatever. <laughs> there you go. You got it. That's right. Good, honest, hard work. Milking and stuff. Please change your hat. I don't like that hat. That hat's stupid. Although it does look good on you, I'm not gonna lie. Okay.
Okay, no hat is... I, I would prefer a hat over no hat, though. I'm just saying. Hey, yo. Mm -hmm. Sometimes a man needs to just punish himself a little bit, you know? To understand the values of life. A few months later. Can't really get that no more. Men just punish themselves by... Doing like doing nothing, you know, just makes it worse. But that's her fool. Hey, you know I was wrong about you. you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you. That's what I said. Uh, hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance. No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak at least. Thank okay. you, Mr. Dickens. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna go plow his wife. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I ain't gonna do that. Knock, knock. He did it three times. What the hell? Hey, son. how's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Is your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Thank you. Pow. Hey, I'm right, right here. Oh my god. <laughs> What's the problem, Milton? Sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. Ah. Experience I think every man can relate to. True. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Mm-hmm. Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've... Tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And mm -hmm. paid me well, besides. Mm -hmm. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope. Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. Oh, thank you. Take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. Whoa, why? I'm just joking, son. Oh, okay. I was like, what the hell? Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. Here's my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once too. <laughs> You'll get her back. Thank you. What a good man. Oh, back to my house. I'm not playing the game yet. Okay. Okay, now we don't need to bring guns to the bank. Okay, we don't need to do this. Although you need to get your hat. That's that's gloves. Okay, that's pain. Uh, I don't know what the hell that is. That's a shirt apparently. This is my clothes. This is my entire outfit, except for those gloves. Hold the fuck up. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm a lone ranger. That's right. Yippee ki yay. Nice horse. Bum, ba -rum, ba -rum. Nah, we don't need no guns. We're going into a freaking. So oh! you to leave it Bubba and I thought Ooh. to myself who this little girl thinks she telling anything to uh, enjoy your drink in peace <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now what that mean for the last time leave me alone or what oh yeah I love this woman this woman is my fucking wife it's too bad Arthur died I would have married her before she kills us all you you get out of here John Marston. That's me. It's good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You, you killed feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I did. That sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> He was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy some property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. 
Bounties mostly, and some other stuff, good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. Oh? Oh, well, it's legal. I'm usually. Nice. Then, maybe. Come on, then. I love bounties. Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Damn, that guy got skills. Come on, we got a bit of a ride. I know. I'm the bank with a pen. All right, I'm following you, so go wherever you want to go. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be. Sir, I'm so. <laughs> it, my horse won't move. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him uh, about a year back. Okay. Micah? We always said if we found him, we gonna kill that bitch. We said we'd do. Excuse me, sir. Thank you, sir. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Now we came back. The Yukon? Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I aim to be. Mm -hmm. Probably why I can't afford it. <laughs> this country's becoming real civilized. Bad folk won't be around for long. You say that, but I don't believe you, sir. I don't believe a damn word you're saying, sir. <laughs> Where are we going? I wonder how far it is. Oh, hey, it's this place. Ayo. Place where the thing fell over. With the safe on it. I forget what guy was with me. Was it Micah? Maybe it was Leon, I forget. I think it was Micah. Strawberry? Oh, and now we're walking again. Okay. What can I do for you? Yeah, I want five. You can find. I want five. I said, feller's name is Nathan Kirk. Banker. Bald. 45. All right. Thank you. All right. I'll do that. Okay. I want, I want five pieces of bear meat. Okay, sir. I don't want it right now. All right. Uh, oh, I didn't do that. Don't worry about that. Find a fella called Nathan Kirk. Sorry, can't help you. Damn it, bro! You got blood on your face. Be disgrace. You uh, you seen a fella, fella from New York, bald guy? Yeah, a few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, s s sort of. Sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mister Kirk, but he's so. Charming. Is he staying here? He's uh up in room three. Thank you. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. I agree. Thank you, sir. Excuse me, sir. Are you in this room right here? Up in room three, okay. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Excuse me, sir. It's Dr. Phil. <laughs> That's Nathan Kirk. Get it. Oh, we're not jumping over. Okay. Go. Got him. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Jump, on. Jump on the horse. I don't want to. Oh, never mind. Jump to my horse. Good we gotta get after him. Remember, we want him alive, though. All right, I got my. Got my thing. Excuse me, ma'am. He went right. I know. I, I saw him. I saw him. Oh, he, someone got knocked. Oh no, his thing got knocked off. Never mind. I was like, someone got knocked off. No one got knocked off. I was actually a little sad. I'll catch up with you. I got it. You going? Shit. That's okay. It's fine. She can go wherever she wants to go. <clears throat> she crazy. My voice keeps cracking. Rip. Excuse me, sir. I need you to come here. Okay. You're a wanted man. I, and there's a bounty on your head and I want that bounty, sir. Okay. We all have bounties now. Except yours is just a little bit more than mine. Mm-hmm. We just wanna talk. That's a lot. You're back. Almost had him. Come on. True. That was real stupid though. I don't know why you tried to do that. Monsters. I ain't a monster, you a monster. This is the Wild West, sir. <laughs> Look out. That's okay, I didn't hit him. We're fine. 
Go get him. You got it. I can't see now. It's dark. Oh, there he is. Okay, girl. Yeah. What is wrong with you people? Money. Just money. That's mostly it. There you go. Start having an apple. Give me some more. There you go, buddy. I am the cause. Yeehaw. Oh, be careful. I don't run him over now. I caught a fish. Now, ain't this a predicament? True. My rope. There we go. My rope is stuck. No, thanks. I did. I'm doing it right now. Okay. Let's calm down, wife. All right. Real fun. There we go. Man, but it's all a mistake. My wife. My wife is a, is a desperate woman. How, how you married, sir? None of your business what I am. Who? She made me do it. She broke me. I did bad, but I'm not bad. There is a difference. There is a difference. You're right. Proven otherwise. Also true. Where shall I send the money? <clears throat> I ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. Need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan for the property. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. So I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you. Thank you. One good old fashioned bounty. Hello. Excuse me, sir. Can I can I help you? Oh yeah, sir. Well, yeah. I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Okay. Hello, sir. Can I help you? Mm-hmm. I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Line of credit. So I can buy some property? What property? An old ranch? Beecher's Hope? <laughs> that old dump? I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a rundown farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? Yes. <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. True. Well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, <laughs> we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But True. if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Okay. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. Okay. I understand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes? Thank you. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently. They'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done, and we'll fix up the paperwork. Thank you, sir. Wow, that was that was actually real good for me. I, yeah, I, I would have left too right there. Like I would have been like, okay, well, sorry for wasting your time. My bad. What happened? It's alright. Malditos Pumas! Is there a wolf or something? I got you, sir. I'll help you. You okay, sir? Where'd you go? Oh. Yo, you okay, sir? Thank you, sir. No, 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 I wasn't gonna kill you. Oh, my bad. No, no, I was just reloading my weapon. Shit. Let's go see what's up. Oh, hello, sir. I help you, friend? Yeah. This is my property. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Who's this? 
I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. Oh, uh oh. That's what he says. That's what he says. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Hmm. Do I give them money? I'll give you money. Take some money. Go try and find somewhere else to stay. Mm hmm. You for real, friend? Yeah. Sure. Take it. Take it. <laughs> You're a real gentleman. Okay, boys. Let's go celebrate. <laughs> Thanks, mister. You're welcome. You're most welcome. We ain't gonna we ain't gonna shoot nobody over a, a dump, okay? If it was good land, I'd kill them. They'd be fucking dead. <laughs> but you know, it's kind of meh. So if they took some money, they'll be on their way. It's fine. Ah, it's you. The man with two names and no past. True. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's yes. It's run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. It would. At least it would mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, <laughs> okay. sign here and here. Okay. Are you going to use your real name or your fake name? Mm -hmm. I think he has to use his real name. There you go, sir. Stamp it. Oh, what what the hell is that? He rolled something on there. I don't know what that is. Oh, that is the stamp. Oh, interesting. Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? What the fuck? <laughs> Hold up. He's got two things going on here. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But True. we can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. Thank you. I understand. Congratulations, you are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> True. <laughs> so they own me, they just own your property. Now you can also mm -hmm. use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Nice. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. True. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> Uh, he was he was joking, but he meant that seriously. Rip. Why am I wearing a collar around my neck? What the fuck is that? What the hell? Well, it is you. Who? I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. What the fuck, you? I forgot. The very same. Oh. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by mm. the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well. I'm trying. Mm -hmm. All these mm -hmm. years. Yeah, he changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. No, you don't have to. No. I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. I don't know what the fuck that is. Have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on then. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little pity, uh, sir. Sir, your horse, your horse is old as fuck. Why does he have a mustache? Oh my god. All right. Well, that's. Follow me. Let's go, Uncle. Hurry up now. We ain't got all day. Okay. Can I do the cinematic thing? I can. Where are we at? West. Mm-hmm. Ain't you a man of few words? I can see we're headed west. Mm -hmm. You know, speaking in monosyllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I seem. Bro. Now, where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, I... <laughs> a ranch I bought just now. Someone died? Uh-oh. What you were doing in the bank? Yeah. Spending all your money? Call. Oh. On a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh my lord. What are you talking about? It's fine. You're concerned, but I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. That's true. No. Nah, she's uh, having issues. Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you mean she left you? I don't like how you know that. <laughs> smart woman but you know this makes me think 
Maybe I was wrong. Hmm. No more of that. I just bought this place. Mm -hmm. Lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. True. That's true. That's a big true. I, I forgot to give the butcher the meat shit. Well, that's that's still there. <laughs> Whip. It is what it is. <laughs> Rip. I forgot. <laughs> hmm. Blackwater. I don't think that guy knows that I robbed him. And I robbed his cousin that works at the bank. America. <laughs> How far is this place? I didn't write. I didn't. It wasn't that far when I did it. Damn. Is this it right here? Yep, yes it is. No talking, no nothing, we're just riding along, okay, fair. Whoa! Real nice, real cozy. Kind of beat up, but you know it's it's there. Look at her. Mm-hmm. She's beautiful. He's a misunderstood building. Okay. But a beautiful building nonetheless. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Mm-hmm. Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? Probably not. <laughs> Rocks? We? Yeah. We don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the till. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No, you're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm an idiot? No. I know you're an idiot. Mm hmm. Well, that's good. Uncle's gonna stay with us. There we go. Here we go on our rock duty. True. Uncle, get your ass moving. I hope I cooked the cougar. It's gonna be real, real shameful if I don't cook the cougar. What? What's happening? Epilogue part two. Beecher's hope. Oh my god. Okay. Nice fence. You doing it that way instead of the other way? Okay. Interesting. Home. Home on the range. Where's my horse? Come here, horse. I still got that cougar on my back. Rip. Bare knuckle friendships. It's the lumbago. Now, if I overdo it, I, I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. Oh, you can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess okay. Proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> get up! <Ow! laughs> Fair. <clears throat> Thank you, Uncle. I have to tell you. I, I went into town and... Oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Uh, oh, shit. Well, we got to go. We got to go to San Denis. Charles, Why? Who? Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. Okay, well, either way. I guess we're going. Oh, my God. Choo choo. I think that's supposed to be like that. Yep. <laughs> we took a train in? We took a train in. Interesting. Here we are. Come on. Let's get off. All right. Yeah. <sighs> oh, wait. What the hell? I never liked this place. True. Me 
either. All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. All right. Sure. Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons. You take the slums. Okay. How about I take the saloons and you take the slums? Yeah. I'll take the saloons because you're gonna just go there and get drunk. Where's my horse? Oh, my horse is right here. Thank you, sir. Come on, then. Let's go, boy. Good day, sir. My bad. Shit. Keep. Yeah, my bad. I keep doing that. Charles. Hey, partner. You seen a big Indian guy? Indian? <laughs> sure. I seen hundreds. A big guy. Boxer, maybe. Likes fighting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Bare knuckle guy. Think he's. He's fighting tonight over at St. Saturnine's. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem, bud. Thank you. Find Charles at St. Saturnine's. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Ma'am. Sorry. Line up to shit. You just standing there in front of the door. Like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> what took you so long? Uh -huh. Oh, good lord. I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. True that first barman I met and he told me Charles was here <laughs> Folks not one of life's great mysteries it turns out <laughs> massacre, mm. and you are a killer who's killing we both know what you Charles I'm leaving now Charles he don't know the half of it John you're you're I'm alive <laughs> so are you <sighs> so's he that's uncle what are you doing I don't know I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of, just... I don't know. I, I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So... So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. I like bets. I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive too, only she left me. Excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself. To win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. That's a lot of money. I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A little wager on the wolf here? A real redskin brave. Uh, I'm a bet on Charles. Sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you? Thank you. Epic battle between the descendants of bucks. Oh my god. Warriors and a not so noble savage. I'm gonna go. God dang it. Ferocious battler from the Oh, yes, thank you. Simon of Wales. Mm hmm. And on my right, an Indian Hercules. The savage, the untamable. The unbeaten and dare I say unbeatable lone wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. Is it a fight to the death? Oh. You win by retirement. Oh, okay. You win by death. Okay, yeah. Good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean. At least there's a knockout option in there. That's good. Hey yo. You got it. You got it. Pretend he's Micah. You got him. Try and stay on your feet, you hear? You got him. Don't be stupid, Lone Wolf. You got him. Hit him, Lone Wolf. Oh, there's an Indian somewhere. There you go. You got him. Hey, yo. Real good. Real easy. Come on, Lone Wolf. Gotta get you the hell out of here. Drew, everybody's gonna get mad. Lone Wolf. Whoa. How? Made my months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. Drew. So it goes. Here's your share, partner. Thank you, sir. How much did I get? We just made the bed. I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now. My sense is you just need to lie low. Where? Mm-hmm. That little place up past Blackwater, in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. 
I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boy. Oh. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Oh, we'll just have a few errands to run. <laughs> You're useless. I <laughs> am a deep thinker. Be quick. I like, I like Uncle. He's doing his thing, you know. Forty bucks, nice. I like it. Uh, my bag's on the dock side. All right. So, what happened? You made the goddamn way. Arthur and me, we were together. I had to get out, but he went back for the money. Mm-hmm. You know that Arthur. Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. Ah. Oh. If any of us had been found, we'd have. Oh, of course. I understand. Yeah, they'd be dead. He would have wanted to be. Pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me a mm -hmm. satchel with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I, I don't remember it. that. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. Well, he wasn't a good man. None of us were. But, uh, mm hmm. Maybe he was true to himself. Him and his code. <laughs> mm -hmm. That pig headed bastard. You Excuse get me, ma'am. Like I guess you, you gotta cling to something. Yeah. He was hoping to come out of it. Hope was about all he had left. Yeah. Maybe all any of us have. <sighs> Poor Arthur. Anyway, Excuse I heard all you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Mm hmm. But who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I heard all kind of things, but one thing I know, he ain't around here. True. I ain't heard nothing real in years since, well, that time. Nor me. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. I hope so too. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Yep. I'm honest the whole time. Or. Since before I got off Sisica, they picked up Strauss, the agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Never said a word. Damn. Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Yeah. Everything that happened, all those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. I think Dutch is just. Dutch was just tired of all the lies and shit. What? Careful. Why? I understand why Dutch is pissed, but at the same time, Dutch also lost his fucking mind. Okay. Uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. Now I don't know why he wouldn't trust Arthur, but it is what it is, I guess. Damn it. Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm-hmm. Three. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I like how the freaking marking is different. Boom. Let's go. There's a wagon up there. I'll get my bag. All right, we're already back in the shit. My gold. I think my gold pistol. I can't tell. Is it gold? Nope. That's not my red pistol. This is my red pistol. Oop. Thank you, sir. Now I'm a coming. Hey ya. Okay. Where was Uncle gonna meet us? Over the bridge going out of town. West. Don't kill that guy. Hold on. We're fine. Oh wait. Now we're fine. <laughs> you see any law? Not yet. Nah, I think we'll be fine. Sandy <clears throat> ain't short on police. That is true. Remember that. Only too well. Mm-hmm. Good so Ooh, roundabout. Look at that. Nice. Gunshots, better chance we have. Of denying it at least. True. We can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. If they Who? take us in, we won't get out of the interview room. Oh. I don't want to get a over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. Mm -hmm. No, I don't want that either. Excuse me, sir. Thank you, sir. You see anything? Nah. I think we're good. I think we're clear. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate Saint Denis. Guido True. Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Speaking of simple, oh my God! What happened? Oh, it's Uncle. You Uncle? All getting up to no good? Yeah. Been getting shot at. Yep. Well, it, it weren't very good, 
Shut up, Uncle. <laughs> oh, it's so negative. <laughs> Was it gonna teleport me home? I hope so. Okay, thank you. It's very far away. I'd rather just be teleported. Thanks. <laughs> oh, that's a nice chop you got there, sir. Damn. Feels like old times. <laughs> nice. Good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just mm -hmm. hope things don't turn out like last time. Here he goes. What'd I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired two dollar whore would stay with you. Whoa. Goddamn truth. That's not cool, man. Be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless, and I mean that. True. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Whoa. Oh, darling Abigail. <laughs> I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse. I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying Damn. to say? <laughs> Damn. The house has got to go. Okay. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house a lady set foot in. Mm -hmm. It just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. True. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here. Come on, tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. But, but we're not gonna have any shelter. I don't know if we should do this. I think so. All right. All right I guess. Well, <laughs> I guess we got shelter over there. Never mind. I guess. Just pull. Pulling. I'll go when you do. So I gotta like, I gotta do this. I guess I gotta click. Okay, we're clicking. This way. You got a horse. You got it. He's got it. Boom. There we go. Timber. <laughs> See? I told you it wouldn't be no trouble. And now? Yeah, now what? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house, right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in Really? There's a fellow by the train store. We just go buy it? Timber. Okay. You keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's going to tell you that? Just need a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. True. Make him work. Whip him if you have to. Oh, shit. Oh. Howdy. Oh, yeah, she's right here. Hello, wife. Oh, John. Is that a cinnamon roll? No, there's potatoes. Sure. You, uh, got any work? What if they had cinnamon rolls back then? There's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing, or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. True. Which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. But same as most people. I guess. Mm -hmm. Funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? You ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murder, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. Damn. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> Damn. I'm bringing him in, and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. So we're going to go rob it back. I've given up on the job. It's just a bad lot. But now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. Ooh. Is the money good? Oh, it's hell yeah. It's yeah, really he's good. wanted in five states. It's real good. What are you talking about? Like getting robbed by no one. That's fair. Come on. Where is it? We're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now come on, mount up. We All right. Of All right, damn. Of course we do. I got it. Whoop. We're a good girl now. Wait, I didn't put you over here. Okay, there's a ladder right there. Can I climb that? Probably. Your horse is pooping, ma'am. I don't want to fix that. That's a girl. Follow me. Let's ride. All right. Yes, 
you better be going fast because if you ain't going fast there's no point in line riding i mean saying that some folk buy ranches some buy horses horses are cheaper that's true he is oh hell yeah a real good horse it's something else you know you gotta come up there he ain't had any trouble some squatters but that's it for the most part yep, gave him a little bit of money and they were on their way it was actually real good i heard about him stayed north or gone off somewhere else or dropped down dead in their own tracks that would suck good country. true country is good it's just folk that are bad yeah you know who i got up there with me uncle hey, besides uncle abigail no. Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You er want to talk about it? No. Well, maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in San Denis. Mm -hmm. Wasn't seeming too well. He took everything real hard, but I think life on the plains is going to be good for him. I think so. I always like Charles. You send him my best. All right. I will. You know, you can come along too. build a cabin on the land. Mm -hmm. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. Yeah, no, that's why she's fucking sexy. Whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. Mm. You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think he's a colorful character. Mm -hmm. Get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket round me after the O'Driscolls. That weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. Yeah. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. Yeah. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. And I was one of the lucky ones. True. Micah, John. Micah's the one who said Yeah, he set the whole thing off. Following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. Yeah, Dutch was, I think, fine. And someday, I hope we'll find him, but uh, not now. Mm hmm. Teleporting? Are we teleporting now? Oh my god. I would not want to live out here, that's for sure. <laughs> There's oh. a spot up ahead where we can see over most of the country. They'll be down there. So all right. James Langton, the bounty hunter. He's got this outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house. Shane Finley, correct. And we okay. aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers. Correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. Mm-hmm. True. True. Let me get my sniper ready. And my other gun. There we go. Alright. Hopefully we find him soon. So I'm ready. Oh, because I'm ready. Now what? What is that down there? I never seen that place. Oh, it's a view, all right. True. Damn. Church over there with some townspeople over there. It's interesting, to say the least. Come on, let's go take a look down in the valley. Okay. I got my snap. What the hell? Oi! Give me my snapper back. God damn it. I just I just freaking took that thing. Stone bitch. It gave me two different weapons. God damn it. One second. One second. You have 
binoculars, don't you? I got it. One sec. Not yet. Keep looking between here and that town. All right. I'll be there somewhere. I think I see something. Yup. This thing? There they are. Down there. Okay. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. Yeah. Very funny. And that big fat feller with the funny hat? Mm hmm. That's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. Okay. Where do you think they're heading? I don't know. Come on. Let's go follow them. Focus pose? What the heck is that? Never mind. We're not going to find out now. <laughs> the canyon underneath us. Let's go. All right. I'm following you, wife. Who is no longer my wife because I'm not Arthur anymore. Rip. I'm sad about that. They just changed my guns again. Get out of here. No, it didn't. Okay. Thank God. They'll be coming through here. All right. I got my gun ready. What the hell is that? Chillax. Oh, what the fuck? Keep an eye on Why don't you just shoot him and take it right now? Why don't you just do that? Ha. Let's go. We know they're down there. Don't mm -hmm. so close. Ah, right, my bad, damn. Talking to me or like to talking to herself. Yeah. I ain't used to having anyone with me. Yep. That's why she's so damn sexy. Okay. My guess is they'll stop up ahead. We can get a better look at them. Okay. You know pretty well. Hmm? If you can't outgun them, you gotta outthink them. Yep. Big true. The canyon opens up down a ways. We'll head them off there. Okay. What is that barking? Stop it. There they are right there. Are we going to shoot them? I hope so. Just get it over with. I would have shot them a long time ago. Up here. Get off your horse. This might be our chance. All right. Yeah, they're stopping. And that sure is Shane Finley coming off the back of his horse. Okay. What are they waiting for? Uh, the rest of Langton's men, I think. Probably. Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men and you work alone? <laughs> I got you. You're worth ten of them. True. Great. All right, so what you think? Should we threaten them? Start shooting at them or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. Uh, we'll sneak down. Oh, uh oh, I got it. <laughs> where, where are they? I didn't see them. <laughs> the wrong way. Okay, well, thank God they're over this way. I was, I was. Oh wait, no, they're this way. Okay. Anyway. Take one of them. I'll take the other. All right. Now I got a bow. Thank you. Let's move up ahead. Another one on patrol. I got this guy. All right. Hansel. My boy. They're gonna hear us on these bridges, but it's worth a try. Look out, Sadie. They're on to it. Aw. No, I guess I just have to start shooting no matter what. I'm sad now. Get out of the goddamn way. Ow. <laughs> I got it. That's right. Boom. That's right. Oh, oh. That sounded like it hurt. I didn't see it, but it sounded like it hurt. Boom. I missed. No, I didn't. I lied. I'm just that good. Ow. I'm coming. Rip. 
Ow. Boom. 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 I think they did. I think. Nope, that guy's not. I'm good. I can't see. I'm right here, dude. What are you talking about? Let's move. All right. Oh. Oh, man down. Hell, enough for one shot, apparently. Rip. Okay. Thank you. It's fine. It's fine. I missed. We need our horses. True. The bounty. Look at him here, dead. Hell, that's what you get for robbing me, Lincoln. That's right. That damn harpy. Oops, a daisy. No. I'm more. Oh, hello. Are you with her? Yes. Look like? Come on, it's time to collect. All right. right you're taking Finley. Let's go. Get him on your horse. I, I did. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Hell no. Hell no. What? Oh. Look out on the rope bridge. I got it. Take them out, John. I got it. Uh, right through the arm, sir. Rip. Riders coming from the left of us. I got it. Yeah, this is true. He's got a lot of freaking men. I don't know if that's a good idea. He's got a lot of freaking men, and I can't, I can't do nothing. All right. Uh, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Whatever. Got him. That's the end of the canyon. Then I think we might be free of them. Maybe. For it. Run, Forrest, run. Oh <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, yeah. That looks that looks bad right there. That doesn't look good at all. I need to relieve myself. There'll be a bucket in your cell. <sighs> I'm serious. Yep, and so am I. Hit him, John, please. Hey, you don't need to do that just because she told you to. I don't need to be hit. I just want to be treated civil. Shut it. You heard the lady. Thank you. Crew. I still protest my innocence. This woman ripped me out of my bed. Kidnap me, then let Langton kidnap me, then you killed them all and kidnapped me back. Yep. I'm the victim here. Damn you. John, would uh -huh. you be so kind as to shut him up? I got it. Don't listen to her. Let me speak my piece. There's no call to hit me, mister. Listen to him squirm. Jesus. True. Bad dog. <laughs> <laughs> How to work ain't easy, John. No. But I can see now it has its rewards. True. A whole lot easier with a partner. Mm -hmm. Back there, you didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. Yeah. We did fine. And with Langton and his men gone, there'll be more demand for our service. <laughs> That's true, yeah. You know I'm a rancher now. Mostly. Mostly. And I know how you're paying for your ranch. Don't spread that around. Yeah. But it would be good to have you along some more. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe. Hmm. This is a nice, this is a nice view right here. Very nice. Oh, butcher. Hello, sir. Easy. Here we are. Grab him and bring him in, John. Sure. All right. You're a bitch and a bastard. 
She's sexy, I know. Shane Finley. Oh, great. Let's uh, put him in the cell. All right. In you go, sir. Oop. We're gonna watch you swing. What for? I didn't do anything. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. True. Here. There's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> you want this money to go to the bank, too? No, I'll, uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well... If you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be well, John. You too. Wife that I... Oh my god. Wife that I will no longer have. This is me buying a house, I think. I believe. I'm not sure, actually. Let me get off my horse. Can't ride it in there. You stay right there now. I'm pretty sure this is me buying a house. Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. Nice. Same. <laughs> <Joking. I'm joking. laughs> How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot I know is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost efficient. Mm. <sighs> Which house do you want? Oh my god. Each one is entirely unique. But, also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique, pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee your home in a matter of weeks. Maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. Now, you write your name here. And, uh... You sign your name there, mm -hmm. and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. Nice. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes Esquire at your service. All right, thank you, sir. Oh, my God. Okay. Boys, give me a minute. Wait, what What happened? What happened? What are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. I left Uncle armed to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. Their skin is about we need them. Okay, yeah, yeah fair. Money, Charles. Do you want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these skinners can be nasty. Come on. Yeah, that's true, okay. You're with me, Mr. Wayne. Yeah, a huge fucking beard, dude. Damn. Good to meet you. Me you too. Did you die it? Why? Hello, sir. Is that Norwegian fella up there. Yeah, so they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir. We're ready. Good. Good. We're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle then? I know we'll do yes. real well. I'll get you a good deal. Hell yeah. Sir. Put the sniper rifle in there. Let's go buy us some tools. Shot over a hammer. That's going to suck. Oh my God. Follow me. All right. We went back to the house. Is that where we're going? That's a nice house right there. Damn. Wonder who lives there. Say, is your friend a negro or a redskin? I think a bit of both for what it's worth. Probably, yeah. Cash is cash. So it's all the same to me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. Yeah. Shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? With a huge beard, just saying. Oh. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a rock okay. sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns behind, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable. Instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No. Wait. 
Trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire nah. a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrence. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. <laughs> All right. I'll do just that. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. I'm probably going to go so well. Where are we going? This kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon. But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. People want to bit. how you can handle it. Living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. Where are we going? We're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. I was just going to say... When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think okay. about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, okay. I'm watching the tree line. Oh, yeah, you watch fucking everything. Yeah. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. All right. Thank you, sir. Real kind, real nice. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Oh yeah. Oh hell yeah. They used to worship a god with a hammer. Mm-hmm. Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Niels knows tools. And he knows me. So we'll see if we can get him to give you some. You got it, horse. Get on up there. It won't even be cheap. But they'll be worth what you pay. This is the spot. Okay. Just up ahead. Nice. Looks real cozy. Real nice. Real nice. Real roomy. Wait, is, is this it? Yeah, it looks real nice. Who's got rigging grass on his roof? After you, Mr. Milton. Ah, right, thank you, sir. Craft from tools from Nils. All right, yo, sir, where are you? Yo, sir. Oh yeah, look at that guy. Willard Wayne. Okay. This mm -hmm. is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. <laughs> best, best Smith around. He's listening. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any made? Uh, okay. <laughs> Man, a few words. I like it. Like I said, an acquired taste. An acquired taste. Gold and he's the best. Yep. You off someplace, Nils. Okay. You're gonna put the tools on the horse, I guess? <laughs> there we go. Look at that. So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. <laughs> I like that guy. That guy is the best guy I've ever seen. <laughs> Says nothing, but everybody knows what he's saying, apparently. All right, let's go. All right, then. Beecher's Hope. Hey, yo. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, hadn't they? Trying to. Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me, but more power to you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, 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 that guy's dead. Everyone find some cover. You're fine. Everybody's fine. Let's all calm down now. I don't know why they used bows first, but they did. Keep your head down. What the hell is going on? Okay, let me just, uh, there we go. The Skinner Brothers. Are these the guys that I took the cave over? Is that what happened? What the hell? Who's using arrows? What the fuck? Don't you fucking dare, sir. Okay. I got it. Oh my god. Where'd they all go? Hold on over there. Willard, how you holding up there? We'll get you out of here. I'm fine. Yeah, I know. I can't shoot him for some reason. Your wag is the least of your worries. Yeah. 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 
Just keep shooting, don't stop shooting. That's the trick here. Whoop. <laughs> You're fine. All right. You alive? For now. Mr. Devin, you okay? Yes. Nice. I think so. There's more. They got the tools. They got the tools. Uh oh. All right. You stay here. Guard the wagons. Charles, come on. Mm -hmm. Mr. Milton, Mr. Smith. Help, help me. I got him. Shit. One sec. I got you. Hold on. Bam. Boom. 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 We've walked into something. Get some cover. Don't need no cover. I'm a goddamn. Oh my god. I'm a goddamn pro. We gotta get the way. They climbed up in the tree. I know. I can't see him. How far is he? Still up Shut up. Not even that far. I would have gone a lot higher than that. Damn. Right, got I got him. No, I don't. I'm mounting something. Ow. What? What? Come the right way. The oh my god. Boom. Boom. I missed. Shot somebody. I don't know who I shot. Ah. How come I can't shoot this guy? Thank you. Who the hell? Oh my god. I got it. Ashes to ashes. Bam. Or oh, it means nothing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you. Where'd he go? Is this him? No. Where'd he go? Charles, I found the tools. Oh, okay, never mind. Now, where's Mr. F oh, that is unfortunate. All right. Damn. They just stabbed him. Right in the eye. We gotta move fast. Come on. The kids and his wife. That's not gonna be good. That's gonna be a hard story. Back to the road. That's gonna suck. few minutes ago he was chewing my ear off he true he's getting in too. also true did he the skinners everyone knows except me mm -hmm. John. how later is later charles you all right carrying him i got it there's no use in you getting bloody too is he is it bad they opened him up pretty good Mm -hmm. Nearly chopped his head in two. God damn them. You. Yeah. Mr. Wayne didn't make it. Board, no. We have to get out of here. You take him in the back wagon. Come on. Help me. Do I put the. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's get out of here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, my Lord. What'd they do to him? Nothing nice. Yeah, nothing nice at all. Like he he dead. Got it. Where's my hat? God dang it. My hat's gone again. God dang it. Oh well. Come on. We gotta go. Shit. Those goddamn animals. True. Okay. John, I'm riding with you. Alright. Let's go. Get us back to beaches. Alright. No problem. Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. The Skinners move around. They're here for now. 
I thought Okay. This kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. Mm-hmm. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? Yeah. No, not that time. Oh. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Never mind. Uncle! 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 I was... Oh. Useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? <laughs> what happened? Skinner Brothers. Bottom? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devin back to town and get poor Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Mm -hmm. Be careful. Oh, I will. But I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Yeah. Well, we'll be safe together. Yeah. Sure. If you say so. There got three planks, already got four going down there. Look at that. Oh. And John. I love you. John's having epiphanies now too, dang it. Nice cup. Hack it down, there you go. You got it. Oh, there you go. You take care now. I'm, I got business to do. You could try to play it, but you're never gonna be me. Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. Bloody and stain from the people who deceive me. Muddy ends break through the chains, go free me. Looking for change, looking for pain. Pulling a mob, pushing a train. I'll never stop, stick to a lane. Pick up the pieces and go rearrange. Uh.